Testing. Testing, I am. One does not waste the force, using more tracks than one needs. Duplicating one's efforts. When editing a midi clip. <laughs> no. So wasteful. There's a way that we can just unify these clips into one clip and then run them both from a MIDI channel. So uh, let's do that. You've got two synths here, Dune Layered Line A and Union Layered Line B, two very cool synthesizers that we have playing right here. Let's show you some context. There's our Dune 3.5 synth. And there's our Union synth. And there's both of them together, layered up and sounding sweet and thick. So that's what we're trying to get to happen, but we don't want to edit both of these every time we have a change, right? That's silly. So let's find a way around this. Here's what we do. Right click around here somewhere. Pretty much any one of these will do, because but wherever you are, that's where it's going to pop in next, right? So it's better to do it there. And then we're going to do Add Track, and then we're going to do MIDI. And we're going to do Layered Synth. <laughs> okay. Now, go over here to MIDI Sends. On when you're, you have to be on this track, right? These are the MIDI Sends for this MIDI track. And we're going to turn these first two on. This might be closed when you first get over here. So just pop that open and turn these first two on. Okay. Now, the two synths we're trying to use are Dune Layered Line A and Union Layered Line B. So let's hook up Dune Layered Line A first. There it is. And then go to this other one and hook up Union Layered Line B. Now real quick, Union is a cool synth. It's on sale, part of a little tiny bundle for five bucks over at Plugin Boutique for like the next week, I think. So if you think it's cool, go grab that. I like it a lot. There's some uh, really funky sounds in there. Real solid bunch of sounds, especially starting out. And uh, it's really easy to program. I just started messing with it today, but figured I'd include it for fun. The other things that we have to do to jump back to our project here is you have to go up here to the main panel for this MIDI track that we added. And you need to change this if it defaults to something right here, your output for this, you need to put it to not connected because everything we're using it for is going to be coming out of these sends, right? So we don't need to worry about anything right here. We could just let that be not connect to anything. Otherwise, it will be sending out whatever selected here as well. In addition to those other two things, which would double up what was going to the union, I believe. So with that, we're almost set. The only other thing you need to do is we only need one of these MIDI clips, right? We need to pull this down into our MIDI track. Now it might get wiggly when you go to move it, right? So just go ahead and hit control as you're moving and it'll lock it in place for you. Cool. And then we don't need this one anymore. So let's just delete that. I'm just gonna hit the delete key after selecting it. And now we've pretty much done everything we need to do to get this going. So let's hear it. And you can hear both of our sends are playing. If we go to the sends, we can shut them off individually. Pretty sweet, right? Here's a bonus tip for you real quick. See how we got our locator set up here? If you'd like to jump right to the first locator, just hit the number one on your number pad and it'll head right over there. Cool, right? And you can just start playing from there. And that's about it for today. There's our tip. Oh, we had a good time. We're coming in on right about four minutes. So have a great night. Love you bunches. And we'll see you next time.